Okay, um, can you tell viewers and listeners uh, where we're at? Uh, we're standing on the sacred Ohlone land that is known as the Gill Tract in Albany, California. And your name is? My name is Hank Herrera. What's your relationship to the land? I've been involved with the land <laughs> since 2013, ever since the University of Cal California police officer told me that people were trespassing on private land. And since I'm Ohlone, I thought to myself, how is it possible that I could be trespassing on the land of my own people? Mm. And I've gotten involved with Occupy the Farm, which originally saved the land that we're standing on right now for farming. And we're finding ways to bring indigenous leadership, native leadership, um, out of uh, reverence for our ancestors and for this land and for future generations. We're, we're finding ways to bring indigenous leadership to the struggle, to um, save the land. And so what is the struggle? Is, is the institution known as UC Berkeley? What is their, what do they try to do? What do they, how do they say oh, yes. they quote unquote own it? Even well, it? the University of California Regents uh, are the legal quote owners unquote of this land. They bought it from the family that owned it before and that family bought it from somebody else and that somebody else got it through uh, the allocation of a land grant, uh, the land grant of stolen land, as happened all throughout this state and throughout this nation, uh, where people, colonizers, settler colonizers came and stole the land and then found a way to create a legal system for saying who owns it. Exactly. So that's what the regents do, but they are a public trust and this land was purchased by the university in order to uh, uh, provide space for agriculture and agricultural research. And in our view, besides the fact that they're doing this on stolen land, they're violating their legal public trust to conserve this land for agriculture and for agricultural research. And we're asking them, we've written to them and invited them to join us in dialogue to create a stewardship system with Ohlone and Native people so that we can create a center, a research center for the restoration of indigenous lifeways and foodways uh -huh. so that we can relearn the traditional ways of pro providing food for ourselves and having our ceremony and our, our ways of being. Uh, we can study and relearn those things because those were smashed and taken away by the colonizers. Exactly. And, uh, um, well, not rumor, but fact has it that the institution known as UC Berkeley actually has the ancestors of Ohlone peoples in some weird place, right? Oh yes, the University of California, through its uh, uh, anthropology department, has been collecting the bones of our ancestors from their burial sites, um, from shell mounds and other artifacts, and they store them in a museum called um, the Hearst Museum, which is in uh, the anthropology building called Kroeber Hall, which is named after S Alfred Kroeber, a famous anthropologist who studied native people and uh, uh, at one point in the 1920s declared California Indians extinct. That's right. Uh, I and other native California Indians stand here uh, ephemerally as extinct people, but here I am. Woo! We're still here. Hey, hey! Uh, and just for listeners and viewers, we call it anthro So uh, There you yeah, go. Exactly. Any last words? I uh, thank you guys for being here. Thank oh, you. Oh, my God. In solidarity, yes. Well,